Good evening, y'all. Good evening, y'all. Good night. Good morning, wherever you are in the world. This is Corwin L. Gilliams from I King Amongst Kings coming to you again this evening. I posted a, a, a word earlier this morning and I just felt again led by the Lord to come in and just to have, you know, a car, just to share some of the things that, you know, he's been placing in, in my heart and I've just been overwhelmed with gratitude, you know, uh, regarding the just just the overall gratitude sometimes that we can just not appreciate because I don't know whether we are just dealing with whatever we're dealing with in our lives you know uh, work just life right just life I mean I can't be I can't be specific I don't think you would do life justice to be specific about some of the things that we deal with right but you know how life and, and and what life can can create or what you can create unknowingly in your life right but that's that's a whole nother whole nother conversation and so while i'm as i'm walking home now you know i was just thinking about wow like i was a thought a thought in how <laughs> I was a thought too at one point, but I was, I, I was, uh, 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 praise, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, he's good. Um, I was actually, so I was here walking home and I'm thinking like, wow, like I was actually a thought. I was a thought, like when we, if we were, to, if we were to really think about, listen guys, if we were to really think about our, the love of God and how he created us to be, like we exist in a time such as this okay we can consider the different eras you know what i'm saying his historically about the different you know when it comes to the different civilizations that existed you know uh I, i'm taking a history class and i'm and i'm actually learning really about you know and i'm paying attention this time you know and i'm learning about the different civilizations you know during the different centuries and how when you really get into it, nothing's really new under the sun. You see, how, you know, to, up to this day, we're still trying to figure out solutions for people to have, it, you know, for a nation to have equality and justice and just, you know, no corruption and perversion and, and, and no stealing and murdering and things like that. Like that, that will never happen in man's own ability. So we're always going to, we're always going to, as human beings left at our own will, we're always going to have to figure out solutions to, to problems, create new laws to, uh, to, you know, bring our society and, and our culture uh, up, up to par when it comes to things that we know may have been okay to do. 50 years ago is not okay to do now i mean to think that we lived in a society just 50 years ago felt that that believed oppressing people and segregation was normal right right that wasn't too long ago right okay and 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 so let's let's consider that and so now we're in this age now where we're what is the what is the what is what are people fighting for now? What are some of the equalities or, or the feelings of injustices that uh, people are expressing that they're personally feeling? Whether it has to do with, you know, sexuality, whether it has to do with religion, whether it has to do with, even in, in most cases, we, we, we're discovering uh, systematic oppression and, and systematic racism and things like that, that we're uncovering, you know, or that people are uncovering and seeing it intertwined in our judicial system and and just in our communities we're seeing how you know there's a disproportionate amount of people who are are, are of a certain race who are poverty who are um who are poverty stricken and i just saw uh, i got an alert from a magazine a newspaper uh that i subscribe to i got a, i'm not going to say their name i got an alert on my phone that just said um that only I believe six or seven students was admitted into uh, a, a a public high school that is known to be a prestigious public high school, but only six or seven black pe students were admitted, and so we have all these different things that you know they didn't just come out of nowhere. They they started somewhere, and this is the manifestation of it, right? And so I don't know how we got into that, but um, 
as I was walking, I, I just I just thought that, wow, like, to think that I was actually, that God thought of me as actually a thought, like, the Lord God considered me in his creation, like, considered me to be here in this world, right? And yet still here I am in many cases trying to prove things to people or trying to live a life that is pleasing to people and 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 considering the opinions of people more than I more mind you keyword opinions more than I'm willing to consider the truth of God about who I am and I'm just walking and I'm just looking at the the, the hands of God you know in his creation when I'm looking at the skies the clouds the colors I'm seeing the sun setting right now and I'm seeing the shade of um you know the the multicolored shade uh, the, the, the sun rays against the clouds and I'm seeing rays of orange rays of purple blue I'm ex I'm inhaling and I'm like wow I'm inhaling oxygen I can't see ox oxygen I feel the wind right now but I don't know which way the wind is blowing I can't I could I could feel the wind but I can't see the wind you know um um I'm looking at how you know how uh, how how much of a a shy and timid person I was at one point because of everything that I went through as a child and how the grace of God has literally renewed my mind and restored me to this 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 man of God and I can say confidently that I am a man of God made in the image and likeness of God that I am joint heir with Jesus Christ in the kingdom of God a royal priesthood chosen for a time such as this with such confidence and, and, and unapologetic to the point where I'm not willing to spend my time or willing to engage in any type of argument or any type of relationships that is is that is that that, that desires to shape me or move me from who God says I am. And so that's why, you know, me in this season, I believe it is the will of God for many of us to go through a season of isolation where we can really, you know, really cultivate a relationship with God. And so he can teach us who we are who he created us to be, what are the things that we need to change, what are the, what are the things that, that are holding us, that, is, that are holding us back, right, from being children of the Most High God. And we can't, we can't do these things being around people who, you know, have, as you know, as we know, people, people have their own ulterior motives, you know what I'm saying? God gave us free will to choose, and, 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 and I've never met anyone except the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, who, who, was selfless like selfless and 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 to the point where he, he you know selfless you know even people when when the lord opened my eyes to the truth about this life and this world and what this world is about and um who who um who you know what this world is about and why we're in this world and why there's all this okay exactly back to the point i was saying why there's all this strife and, and murdering and killing and and all these different situations and all these different situations that um continues to happen regardless of the era like nothing has changed maybe the people have maybe the people change but when we look at the the uh the narrative the narratives from the past like nothing's really changed we're still as human beings still unable to create a, a culture or society where we all can live amongst each other and just be right and so that is that is telling us that is that should tell many of us all of us the world something you know that what we've been relying on in our own ability as far as our own ability is not enough and i mean it's simple we've taken god out of the equation we've taken the hand of god out of out of our lives out of our families out of out of the workplace out of our schools um and 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 out of the media and just everywhere you know the enemy has truly been you know successful to a degree where you know he he you know has has taken out the the god to his to his ability but the truth is god is everywhere you know you can't take god out of nothing you know what i'm saying just like i like i'm saying if we look get up and we look outside and we see creation and we see what god has done and continues to do 
we know that God is, is always here and will always be here. But um, as I'm walking home, you know, I just thought, wow, like, I was actually a thought in the mind of God, and I was just giving thanks to God, to giving thanks to the Lord, and I just wanted to share this with you guys out there who, you know, you may not, you may not have the things that you want. Social media can be a trip. You know, sometimes we on social media and we see people living lives that we're just like, wow, like that's nice. Oh, wow. Like I want to go there. We see those travel. For me, I love those. For me personally, I love those travel blogs where they're just the most unbelievable places that I've just, I'm like, wow, like this really exists. I mean, don't get me wrong. I get that there is Photoshop and all these different things, but I've, I've been dealing with, dealing with photography for a long, for a while. And I and I and I and I can kind of discern, you know, what is extremely edited or and, and what is what is just enhanced. You know what I'm saying? And there are just some amazing and even with videos, there are just some amazing places on earth. You know, that so many people did not would never get to see. You know, and I thank God for the vision and for the belief that I'm I'm not seeing it today, this day, but I believe and know that I will see those places and more, even places that I've yet to see through 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 the internet. You know what I'm saying? And um, that that is something to be grateful for. So what I was saying is that you know, guys, if we just take a minute to just think about our being, if we look at ourselves and look in the mirror, you know, and and, and just think of the 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 of existing, that we're existing in a time such as this, that we were we're existing just think about that alone just think about you existing right like you are here right you are here you know sometimes we could get so caught up in, in in life like i was saying just life work whatever our minds you know we worrying about tomorrow and tomorrow is not even here yet you know we worrying about tomorrow and if you were just to literally like not worry about tomorrow and say you know what i'm just gonna focus on today and what i have today because guess what some people didn't wake up this morning some people who are making plans yesterday for today did not wake up this morning so was it all worth it those times that they was using to stress and worry they could use that last bit of time they had there to just be themselves you know what i'm saying just to be themselves and so this is kind of like what I want to, this is what I believe the Lord wants me to bring to you guys. I don't know who for who, but, you know, whatever you're worrying about, whatever you're concerned about, whatever you're just beating or being tormented about, or whatever the enemy is trying to torment you about, know and know, know and know that you are alive, that you are well. You may not have the gym body that you want. You may not have the food that you want in the fridge. You may not have the house that you want. You may not have the car that you want. You may not have the job that you want. But you're alive and you're well. And you're able to now, you know, cultivating a deeper relationship with the Lord who can do all things. Nothing is impossible with God. To say, you know what, Lord, what is it that you, I know you created me. I didn't create myself. You created me for a purpose. You created me for a reason. And although I may have lived a life that was pleasing to other people and pleasing to myself, I desire to know what is it that you created me for. Because I know in me being in your will that that is where I'm most successful. That is where I'm most prosperous. That is where I'm most fruitful. That is where I'm most plentiful. That is where I will thrive and not just survive. That is where I'll have more than enough, right? That is where I'll be. That that is where I will be the head and not the tail, above and never below, a lender and not a borrower. That is where I'll be blessed. My lands will be blessed, and everything, and everything that I do will be blessed. And so, how do I get into that place? How how can I be radically aligned into into your will for my life? And forgive me, and I repent of my sins for all that I that I've done and all the wrong decisions that I've made. And I know your unfailing love and your grace is. Grace is sufficient enough to keep me, to have me start over. And so here I am, Lord. Help me, strengthen me to focus, to be disciplined, to accomplish the things that you want, you desire for me to accomplish. I can't do it on my own, right? And, and guess what? The world wants you to fend for yourself and live for yourself. They want you to just be totally self-reliant, right? And get, look what self-reliance has gotten us nowhere. 
right? And so God has said, I created you. I am your heavenly father. I created you. I, I, am, the pot, I am the potter. I created you, my clay piece, to do my will. You know, some people think that you have to live a whole life, a whole life, a whole lifetime to accomplish great things. Some of the greatest people didn't live past 50 years old, you know. And we still talk about their, their legacy. We still talk about the things that they've done to this day right and so what is it called it's popcorn popcorn fame that people you know are, are thriving after courtesy of social media you know what i'm saying but there's some there, there's worlds within worlds in this world that you don't that we don't even see on social media there is there are lifestyles prosperous and successful lifestyles that we don't see promoted in the media or on social media that that you never even heard of that is specifically for you that you were created to be in but you won't know it see it or feel it if you're not connected to the creator who created you for that purpose if you're if you're plugged into something else that um if you're plugged into something else that is you know is not sourced from purity that is not sourced from unfailing love that is not sourced from you know God then you're, you're just gonna be anywhere and everywhere the crowd goes right and so we have to remember you know that when it's all said and done when we had nothing else when no one else was there around us I don't know who, who this is for but whenever there was no one else around us we and we had to figure it out on our own who was there with us even though, even though we don't want to acknowledge god so many of us don't want to acknowledge god you know but who was there when it was when we were all alone by ourselves having to figure things out and we overcame and, and we did it right think about that think about that that is what unfailing love does even if you don't do what it wants or desires even though you're selfish towards unfailing love even though you may denounce or deny unfailing love. Unfailing love still looks out for you and makes sure that, you know, you are taken care of to to the degree where you're not dead, right? To the, to the degree where you're not hurt or, 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 or in a situation where you can't make moves. And so for many, God is saying, come home come home child of God come home child of God I've been waiting for you my hands have been held out for you to come home and to receive the life that I have prepared for you before the foundations of the world but you're not going to receive it by subscribing to these popcorn um, lifestyles that you see on social media right you're not going to receive it by subscribing to you know the, 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 the narratives that you're neighbors or your or your environment created for you whether intentionally or not for you to subscribe to you're not going to receive that the only way you're going to receive fulfillment the only way you're going to receive a life a life and life more abundantly is through god it's through your relationship with the lord and so we have to remember that and so that is i'm not going to stay too long on here i try not to keep my videos too long because you know some people's attention span you know but just remember that you know God first God God over everything you know what I'm saying when you wake up in the morning give thanks to God when you before you go to bed at night give thanks to God and it's not a thing of sometimes we forget you know but God knows our hearts he's understanding and once you keep and once you get in the habit of doing these things listen it's like going to the bathroom it's like eating it's like blinking it's just something that becomes a part of your life until your last breath all right y'all i hope that this word you know i believe this word is going to touch somebody and really encourage you and whatever whoever is out there right now that's dealing with um family members who who are suffering from addiction you know what i'm saying you have no control over the choices that they make you are doing yourself do yourself a favor and just surrender those people to God and most importantly get your life together get your life in order right get your life in order let let them see how God improves your life right and so once you do that then they can at least then you'll know that okay 
there's nothing that you can do if even the hand of God or even even uh, even if the hand of God on your life didn't change them or didn't inspire them to change and even if you surrendered them to the Lord and the Lord ain't changed them then that's just what it is you know sometimes people you know we, I believe that people um I believe that you know some people are just created to be an example you know what I'm saying some people are just created to uh, to be a vessel, a tool. Some people are created to live a long life. Some people are not. You know what I'm saying? Some people are, are, are created just from, for a miraculous reason, for God to show his, his miracle, his miraculous works, for a greater cause. You know what I'm saying? And so sometimes we just have to do ourselves a favor and surrender, surrender the control, surrender the feel of the need to be in control and get in control of our own lives because that's all at the end of the day that we are responsible for nothing else and i'll leave you guys with that all right talk to you guys soon this is colin l gilliam from i king amongst kings be blessed